Zell, we meet again. Your surrender, please. We wouldn't want to make a mess of things in front of Maxi. Hello. My powers have doubled since we last met Zell. Good. Twice the pride, double the fall. Tony, move in on the left. I'm taking him now. No, Tony, no. Son, bitch, why are you so good at this? Turns out, way too much free time when you're no longer trying to kill the planet. Hey, you had the advantage there. If I play as myself too, then we'll be on equal footing. Um. Uh. Where the hell am I on the roster? If I may offer some tactical advice, as the man who defeated Zamasu, I'd suggest- Oh, don't even- All he did was push a button! Yes, a button. A victory! Fuck you! Attention! Uh, attention! The city is now at Code Pink! All active time patrol is to form up immediately! Code Pink? What the hell's that? And you know, it's only the three of us in the room here, Kai. I mean, we have a group chat for this sort of thing. You don't need the... You don't need the Sky Intercom. You blocked me from it! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stop asking questions and get on the city square right now! Immediately! Wait, no. Uh, get in uniforms first. We're supposed to be professionals here! We have uniforms? Yes! And they better be bloody pressed! What the hell is going on? I don't know. Code Pink. There is no Code Pink. I'm pretty sure he just made that up sound official. Well, look. Pranois down from a rivalry tower, walking among us mere plebeians. How does she stand this stench, I wonder? Jesus Christ, Max, you've become jaded in the last few weeks. Wait, something's happening. Uh, hey, nice to meet you. The pleasure is mine. Welcome to our fair city, home to all our waking nightmares. Anybody have a clue who she is? Well, maybe if they included us in the conversation. That'd be nice. Just saying. Hmm. Perhaps me ears of stone will shed light on this mystery. Well, at least now we know super hearing isn't one of my abilities. And they're walking away now. Thanks for stopping by, I guess. Oh, you lot! Time mess is off limits for the next couple of hours. Take the rest of the day off. No interruptions! So, Dragon Ball Fight is the anyone? You, you know, Puppy said he spent eight hours a day working on the motion capture for this game. I'd say they captured us like this perfectly. Oh yeah, ain't that great? Tony, stop being salty just because Bandai didn't put you in the roster. Us in the roster? I mean, sure, they finally make a game featuring the universe's greatest warriors beating the crap out of each other, but who gets top billing? God damn Goku. Dude's only alive because of us. There is no justice. So, what do you think all that was about earlier? What earlier? Oh, that? Practically already forgot about it. He's still thinking about it. Who was that? What are they talking about? I don't like secrets! So... Like what you've done with the place? Hey, it's okay. Has she been treating you nice? My everyday here is a living hell. I have been turned into a jawbreaker and eaten by some crazy sideshow mob looking demon motherfucker with a giant chin. The city built in my name collapsed into the void. No one here understands me but the three stooges this psycho woman has enthralled under her. I was forced to shit out an egg twice the size of my body, and despite me being biological male, just so these maniacs could create another timeline of untold horrors. And all this while this old man has been gradual climbing the ladder of chaos to position himself as one of the most powerful men in all of creation. Oh, good boy. Well, if we can get down to business. Notice you've got a few servants since I was last here. Don't get me wrong. I think it's great that you still rely on mortals to do your job for you. That's not why we invite 
invited you here? Of course, that's not why she invited me here. Seriously, Noah, why do you keep that corpse around? That's Elder Kai to you, and for that matter, that Supreme Kai of Time to you, if you'll address her by her title, thank you very much. Supreme Kai of? You're seriously still using that? Jeez. Overcompensation! If we can get back on track with the, for the record, horrible, completely irresponsible proposed contest, which I, once again stress, 100% not my idea! Okay, I admit it, it's still pretty awesome. Hello! Ah, ah. Ah, everybody gather around the teletube! I've got some important shit to discuss with you all. The Kai's have been in talks, and an agreement of sort has been reached. Wait, did you say Kai's? Yes, I suppose you might as well know now. The woman you saw today, her name is Karenda. The Kai of Time of Universe 6, and Krenoa's sister. Our Kai of Time invited Karenda here to discuss the possibility of a friendly contest between our universes. Apparently, she couldn't just drop the idea after seeing the last tournament between our twin universes. Maybe we should hold a tournament of our own and bring fighters from all over time. <gasps> what in the world are you thinking? What would happen to history then? Ah, come on, don't be a bunch of fucking killjoys. Team Kronoa! Multiverse! 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 What? Despite the potential havoc such a contest might cause across the timelines of both realities, Universe 6's Kai of Time is just as enthusiastic. In fact, the two thought it such a good idea that it kind of grew arms and legs and now... Universe 6 and 7 are officially hosting the first multiversal all-time tournament, with invitations sent to the Kai's of Time and their equivalent Time Patrol organizations of every universe! Yes! Yes! Oh no. Oh, this seems like it could get messy. How is this even going to work, practically speaking? Listen well, mortals, for these are the rules of the all-time tournament, as decreed by the Supreme Guy of Time. They shall not be repeated. What was that? I said they shall not be repeated. Are oh, you? The tournament shall pit the strongest fighters from all of space and from all of time to determine once and for all the strongest in all of creation. Each universe shall be represented by their kind of time and a team of ten warriors. We aren't adding 120 new characters to the series. Okay then, six warriors. While members of each universe's time collective organizations will be expected to participate, that means you three. The combatants may be chosen from any place and any time within the history of that universe. However, combatants from history outside the official time organizations will have their memories wiped before they are released back into the wild. So let me get this straight. Time patrollers like us are fine, but if we choose a pool, you know, prior to the first of his many deaths back in age, whenever that was, he'd be allowed, but have his mind wiped before we send him back. That is correct! Can't just have anyone milling about from history being aware of their own futures now, can we? Neither Kaioshin nor God of Destruction may participate. Fighters must also be able to demonstrate base level intelligence and pass as a fully sentient being. Ah, oh, Shane, looks like you can't make it after all. What? Didn't you talk about ice like that? He's right there. Before each match, two universes will be selected by random draw. From each team, a combatant shall be elected to enter the ring. The team with the most remaining members at that time will choose first. If numbers are equal, such as at the start of the contest, the higher universal number chooses first. The loser of each match is removed from the contest. The winner may not fight again until all other members of their team have had a match. So there will be some tactics involved. Don't send your top fire in against the weak opponent, since you might need them next round against the tank. Always wanted to fight a tank. As in, like, fight a literal panzer. You do know, I never said I meant you when I said top fighter. I know. Some things just don't need saying. Oh, for fuck. The rules are spoken. Their word is law. Eternal and unchanging. But I'm not done yet. Sign up now and as an added bonus to being granted title of all time strongest, each member of the winning team shall be allowed a personal wish on the Dragon Balls. But wait, there's more! Order right now and I'll upgrade that to a wish on the Super Dragon Balls. By acquiring six from across time, six wishes shall be granted that day, one for each victor. One final note. Pending approval of 
species on the Dragon Balls may be used to affect changes on personal histories. Wait, what? You mean we're free to rewrite our own history? I could stop myself swallowing that bee when I was eight. I've never forgiven myself. Y yes but it's my understanding that these changes must be small enough not to, you know, bring about the total collapse of time. The kinds of time will determine whether a wish is acceptable or not, though. Well, you may have just made this interesting. So, where do we start? Where is it? Don't be jumping the gun now. You notice you've only got half the required numbers so far. You need to get yourself to a full team of six. In this, I leave it to you. Choose wisely. Nothing but a pool. You have been pitching that for 20 minutes now. It's not funny. Come on, we got this in the bag. We use one spot for Tonist, who can mop up any actual threats. Then we just fill the other five with fucking pools. Just imagine how it'll look. <laughs> we're not doing that. Seriously. We don't know what we'll be up against. We can't afford to take this lightly. Why the hell not? We're literally the main characters. We've already won. What? Everything that this tournament is, is breaking the rules of the Omniverse. We're dealing with shit, and potentially people we don't understand. Going into this like it's just a joke, just feels... Like a total subversion of everybody's expectations? Like a colossal dick move! Ah, huh. so, I've been thinking. For our fourth member, how about I ask Pappy? Sorry, Max, but apparently we're not allowed to do the stupid but objectively hilarious ideas this time. Actually... That's a great idea, Max. Really? He's not an official time patroller, but he's already a time anomaly. He has no history to be returned to, but here so. No worries of him losing his memory. Plus, he is still Cell. Well, great. Don't get me wrong, I love the guy. Just expected you to, I don't know, choose someone safe and boring. Yeah. I'm not boring, am I? Shut up. So, there's four. Two more. It's a real shame there's not much of a time patrol left for us to call on these days. I mean, what, what, what do we used to have? Like, uh, 1,500? 2,000? 2,396 patrollers at its height, excluding the three elite patrollers, yourselves, Trunks, and myself, as the probationary elite. 501 full-fledged regulars making a B-tier unit. Some volunteers following the defeat of the Emigram, mostly kidnappings like you. Additional 1,895 candidates included since the loss of Tokitoki City and the establishment of Kanton, most of which still in training until the Code Green incident. Um, and how are those numbers looking now, Maxi? Time patrol strength as of the Code Green Instant. Three elite patrollers, one under house arrest. Fucking trunks. Of the 2,396 regulars and trainees that respond to the Code Green incursion, 2,385 missing, presumed dead, seven killed in action, bodies too badly burned to be properly identified, two remain in medically induced comas. Well, my math's a little off, but I think that leaves two. Well, the gold standard of all people made it out entirely unharmed. Oh, funny that. I just spoke to him yesterday and he says his grand seal, so he's unavailable. Shame that. So anyone else? Um, yes. One survivor remains in the psychiatric ward of the patrol hospital in town. You seem pretty well versed in this shit, Max. Well, I like to think of myself as a man of the people. Look out for the little guys, you know. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I know. Jesus Christ, we had a B-team? Actually... On my days off, sometimes, I'll go down to the hospital, read to the coma patients, Barry and Loadman, visit the Make-A-Wish Foundation kids. Y you know, they always used to say you were their greatest hero, Tony. Really? Uh, I... I guess I should visit them sometime too, then. You didn't catch on I was using the past tense there, did you? Oh, yes, and after all that, I'll always check in on Triss in the psychiatric ward, just to give her some company for an afternoon. Did you say her? Yes. Anyway, she's been getting better lately, working through the trauma, you know. It's amazing she got away as well as she did. Saiyans, am I right? <laughs> what? You've been hanging out with a woman! Barry's a woman? Don't think I don't know how you binary gendered races think. Does your pappy know about this? Who are her parents? I don't like her. Go to your room! Right. Anyway, if this person can fight, thinks she'll be able to join the team? more the merrier and all that shit. Sure, but even if I can, we're still one shot. Hey, we got all of history. I'm sure Ice and I can find someone. Oh my god, history sucks! L just listen to this. The original Super Saiyan said to have defeated one of the founding dynasts of the Cold Empire around 238 before age. Bar Duke? I mean, what kind of name is that? 
I don't know. I mean, there's plenty of potential candidates. Oh, how about this guy? Olibu. Said to be the strongest human or ever lived. Oh, Max would like that. All right, well, if we're picking strongest fighters our universe has produced... Well, Freezer comes to mind. You serious? Come on, you know that guy's had it out for me since we were kids. The androids? 17? 18? Oh, Android 18. If you weren't a married death robot and I weren't a weird purple space abomination. Nah, they have a restraining order on cell, remember? What do you bloody mean it's not visiting hours? This is official business, this is! Right from the Supreme Kaya time! I'll punch my bloody way through if I have to, you bucket and bolt bastard! Hello! Oh! Hey, Max. I wasn't expecting a visit today. Well, the staff gave me some trouble, but I just reminded them who it was that defeated Zamasu, single-handedly, I might add. <laughs> awesome! I don't actually know who or what that is, but awesome! I I anyway, how are you feeling today? Not so bad, thanks. Stopped waking up to the sound of my own screams, so... Guess that's an improvement? Docs are saying I'm clear to leave as soon as I feel comfortable enough, though. Good. That's, that's great news. So, uh... I hate to talk business, but... Well, turns out the Kais have organized a tournament. A martial arts tournament. One with people from all of time and every universe, see? And the time patrols from those universes are taking part too, and... Well, we need six people for a team, and... Uh, Max? Is this an invitation? Well, well, only if you feel up to it, after all you've been through, and... Question, and answer me honestly. Did you want me to be part of this team? Or did Tony just want some red shirts to fill the empty spaces? Uh, what? I don't under... Max, we're friends. I trust you. You've been here for me when no one else was. Literally. Elder Kai still hasn't paid out for my time patrol or medical insurance. Apparently, it doesn't apply until after the person's death. Dragon Balls are cheaper than healthcare. We really do need a union. But my point is, I know you're a good person. So maybe you just don't see it being so close to him, but... Tony's an asshole! Oh, come on now, that's not true. Have you seen the giant statue of him? Huh. Point taken. Just be straight with me. Who will I be fighting for? The Time Patrol, Universe 7, or Tony Cold's already cosmically sized ego? Then, how about for yourself? You've healed as much as you can here, but you'll never return to your full strength till you get back out there. You're right, okay. Time to get back in the game. Just one more thing. This tournament, whatever we're up against, whoever I have to fight, I'll give it everything I've got and you know that. But if I leave here, promise me one thing. Promise me that you'll never ask me to fight something like him again. No, I... I won't. I promise. So, this means you're on the team? Yeah, it does. Well then, welcome to Team Universe 7, Triss. Oh, and by the way, I totally lied about talking my way past the front door. They're probably sending security as we speak. Oh really? That's cool. I lied about being told I was cleared to leave. Oh. Running now? Yep. Pycon? Too piccolo -y. Piccolo? Babysitting. At every point in history, he's babysitting. Hey, have you ever thought contacting anyone from the old cleanup squad? Honestly, I love to, but picture how that conversation will go. Hey, Tony. Oh boy, can't wait to meet our future selves. Wait, why did you recruit us from the past again? Why is Max here but no one else is? Oh my god, we get consumed by a giant green blob of hatred, don't we? Yeah, I'd rather avoid any awkward reunions, thanks. Alright, I didn't want to say this because I know how we all feel about it, but you've shot down literally everyone else in the universe by now. Goku. Iced! How... how even could you? Tony, we try to forget it, but at the end of the day, he just is one of the strongest people in Universe 7. Maybe, you know, the strongest. <gasps> you take that back! Alright, sorry, we'll find someone else. Thank you. Alright, you twats! Got some news for you! First off, there's been some additions to the rules. Thought you said they were eternal and unchanging. Welcome to the real world! 
Get out of it, Snowflake! The First Amendment to the rules. Killing is prohibited. Fair enough, seemed a given. Second Amendment. Combatants have no right to bear arms. No weapons, got it. And the ironic word choice was appreciated. And finally, no fusion! Aw, oh, I guess torn ice and the five of pools is officially out the window then. It was never in the window. One more thing, guys. This has come down from the Supreme Kai of Time herself. Whoever you pick for five of the slots is up to you. Frankly, I don't give a shit. But she has made it very clear that the sixth position must be Goku. What? What? She doesn't care what Goku from what timeline or when, but as a team representing in equal measures the Time Patrol and Universe 7 at large, she is adamant that the strongest fighter of our universe must be present. That is all. Bye! You gonna be okay, Tony? You know what? Yes. Yes, I am. You know, she's totally right. Wow, you really are okay with this? Sure. Yes, I just wanted this to be our thing for just this once, but I think this is totally the right course. Great, so we just need to choose a point in his history I, to- I've got it all worked out already, Iced. Seriously, just leave it to me. By the end of the day, I'll have us the least insufferable Goku history has ever provided. Hey! Hey, Samasu! Yeah, I know it's you and Goku's body. Long story. Anyway, I got this tournament on. What? I don't. I'm standing very far away. Are, are you speaking Japanese? What? So, let's just start by seeing where exactly you are in terms of strength these days. Try see if you can still power up to whatever your maximum was before, you know. All right, I'll try. Uh, that was more effort than I remember. Whoa, that's that, that's Super Saiyan two. If I'm getting my Saiyan numbering right. Super Saiyan two, huh? Up until now, I've just been calling it Punchy Blonde Sparkle Mode. Now, keeping this power in your mind, turn it down to the level below. We'll get you reaccustomed to fighting like this first, and work her ways up again. Ready? You better not hold back on me, Mr. Defeated Zama, whoever. Let's go. Okay, fuck this. I don't think that's a very good idea! Who the hell, woman? Hey! Aren't you forgetting to watch your stuff? That's my line. What? Uh, you okay? Just sort of blanked out there for a second. I don't know. I don't know what- You pushed yourself too quickly, that's all. Yeah. That's all. But I'll tell you one thing. I fought a surprising number of Saiyans in my life, many of which are strong as they ever come. And even with whatever else you have going on that you need to work through, you're still more than match up to even them. Now, I'm not exactly equipped for teaching Saiyans how to, you know, Saiyan, but from what I've seen, greatest strength is always found through fighting harder, pushing further, reaching their limits and breaking through them again and, ag and, ag and again and... Uh, they, they just, they, 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 they just start pulling transformations out of their arse, don't they? I, I'm sorry, I'm no good at this. No. Sorry? N no what? No, you're good at this. Only a few hours ago I was wondering if I'd ever have the strength to leave that place. If I'd ever really be myself again. And now? That's on you, Max. Who? Oh. Well, uh... You know, we got another hour or two till we're supposed to meet the others, so uh, maybe we could. Ah! Oh, okay, I was thinking lunch, but this is fine too!
Okay, coast is clear. Now for God's sakes, just wear this and act normal. I said normal. Hey guys, look who brought a Goku. Hey Goku, no hard feelings after our last conversation, right? We, we, we did have that last conversation, didn't we? Time travel hurts me, Stone. Hey, Kagura, isn't it? Heard a lot about you. Never actually met them. I'm... This is Tristina, Time Patroller, Super Saiyan, and technically escaped mental patient? Yeah, probably better to leave that out of future interactions. And hey, you must be iced. It's great to finally meet Max's best friend. Oh hey, it's nice to meet the home wrecker! What? What? Gather round, children, I have a surprise. So, know how Piccolo's cells are a part of my design and as such I possess all his abilities? Yeah. You know how he can for some reason create clothes out of thin air? Yeah. Holy shit! So, this is actually not terrible. I was seriously getting ready to run as soon as you mentioned surprise. Ooh, it's all snug and comfy. Thank you, puppy. I'm not sure how well they'll hold up in combat with the spikier transforming members of our team, but they'll be great to arrive on stage with. Show the other universes the Time Patrol mean business. What do you think, Bloku? Goku? Yeah, never mind. Group photo, everyone! <laughs> and so, one by one, the warriors from across all of time and all of space gather, as a tournament like no other prepares to unfold. Oh, my son. It seems you've received an invitation to a tournament of sorts. Shall we respond? Oh, Daddy, do you honestly think I would miss an opportunity to make this family proud? Oh, and get my dear brother Frost on the phone. Hmm. Looks like that Time Patrol's got more guts than I gave them credit for. Well, if they really want to see the power of Universe 11, I'm more than happy to oblige. A battle to declare the strongest of all time begins. Literally. Elder Kai hasn't paid out for my time patrol medical insurance. <laughs> you have been pitching that for 20 minutes now. It's not funny! <laughs> Fucking hell, what a lie! What a load of shit. What are you putting in this script, Stephen? <clears throat> okay! Is Kai when you select him in Mario Kart?